What's up everybody, KJ here. Let's get right into my thoughts on episode 784 of One Piece titled Zero and Four, Encountering German 66. All my thoughts for this summary review were inspired by the actual episode. Link to the episode on Google Anime is in the description below, so check it out when you get the chance. So the summary of the, the episode starts now. After catching a large fish, the rest of the crew helps Luffy to bring it aboard. Um, after bringing the fish on the ship, Nami says that the fish's color looks odd. Everyone else is contemplating if the fish is edible, but Luffy says that the fish is edible because to him there's no such thing as an inedible fish. Before Luffy does anything rash, Chopper decides to check Sanji's locker for any info that crew can use for this fish. After opening, opening it, lots of hentai magazines fall out, so uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. Even after that, Chopper, have to, Chopper has to sift through even more hentai magazines to find his cookbook. As Chopper finds a cookbook and looks through it, he finds the fish the crew caught and sees something very shocking. Um, then, uh, and, and gasps in shock at what the note says. As Chopper runs out, warning Luffy that the fish's skin is extremely poisonous, Luffy has already eaten a large portion of it, saying that it tastes good. Luffy was the only one that ate it when everyone was told that it was poisonous. Then everyone asks what they should do with the fish. Some say dump it, but Luffy doesn't want to because it took him so long to catch it. Then Chopper says that Sanji's note also says that if you peel the skin off, the fish can be edible. Sanji even put a recipe for the fish there too. Luffy states that he wants to cook the fish, but the rest of the um, crew doesn't want it to because the last time he cooked it was disgusting and he wasted all the food reserves. So Nami decides to cook it. Chopper asks if Luffy is fine and Luffy says he is. The fish makes many portions for the crew and it was a great recipe by Sanji, so it was very good eats. As uh, everyone else is eating delicious food, Nami is bringing Chopper some food and finds him in tears, saying that Luffy will die because Luffy is out on the floor cold. Nami wants Chopper to eat so he can have energy to help Luffy because crying won't help. Chopper agrees to help, but is still sad because the ship is short of the anti antidotes and antibodies. I'm mean, not anti antibodies, but like the antidotes and herbs need to treat Luffy. Chopper says that Na um, Chopper tells Nami that they need to find an island to get more herbs. Looking at the log poses, Nami states that it's going to be difficult to actually find one. Then, and Nami also asks if the fish's poison kills instantly, and Chopper says yeah. But Nami counters that. Uh, counters that statement by saying Luffy must have strong antibodies because he's still alive. However, Chopper says that Luffy's still in bad shape. As Luffy is getting checked on by the crew, he talks about seeing a beautiful river, which Carrot thinks is the river Styx. Peckham says that currently the crew can't look for herbs because Big Mom's territory is closed, and also states that there are some islands around Whole Cake Island and believes that Sanji and Escort have already reached Whole Cake Island by now as well. Topper, I mean, Peckham also doesn't want the crew to lower their guard, so Pedro decides to stand guard. Um, Peckham says that the crew should stop by the first island to get the antidote, and soon it looks like it's snowing, however Peckham explains that it's actually clouds made of cotton candy. As the Thousand Sunny continues uh, sailing, it passes over transponders underwater, so the ship starts getting warning signals on the Namushi, which definitely means they're in Big Mom's territory now. Peckham says everyone either needs to hide or disguise themselves, and then Pedro sees a ship coming towards him, which Peckham thinks is one of Big Mom's tarts or scout ships, however the ship is definitely obscured by frog, so the crew can actually see what it is. Peckham then explains that everyone needs to hide so he can handle it. Um, then Chopper sees that Luffy's condition has worsened because the poison is spreading, so he must be treated quickly. Uh, Peckham says he'll see if the ship has any antidotes while everyone goes and hides. And then Peckham gets a closer look and sees that the ship isn't one of Big Moms, but it actually belongs to German 66. One of the people on the German ship walks through the deck and moves his, uh, and removes his shades a little bit uh, up on it. I mean, actually just pulls his shades down. They get a closer look at the Thousand Sunny, revealing a swirled eyebrow similar to what Sanji has. Eye catches for this episode are Luffy and Chopper. The crew sees the ship and sees the giant Din and Mushi making up a giant portion of it. A German soldier on the, goes on the transponder asking if the ship belongs to the Straw Hats. Peckholms tells the others the ship is German 66 and they ask themselves if that was the organization that was led by Sanji's father. German 66 is also known as the Warmongers. Nami asks the others to fix the sail because um, she doesn't want the ships to collide. Uh, Chopper sees a swirly eyebrowed man and thinks he looks familiar. After the Sunny Man just still board crashing thanks to Nami, Chopper and the others start running out asking if the man is Sanji. They all start calling out to him, but he still stares at them silent, and after a while he gets annoyed and removes his cloak, introducing himself as Yanji. Yanji's epithet is Winch Green. The crew is confused because Yanji resembles Sanji, but isn't Sanji. And Yanji says that the relationship he has with Sanji will always be a secret to the Straw Hats and must be confidential. After him saying that though, the crew all have a good feeling that Yanji is Sanji's younger brother, because Sanji is... Um, they both have like numbers in their names, Sanji's 3 and Yanji's 4, which shocks Yanji. And then after that, he becomes enamored with Nami, just like Sanji would. A German, German soldier approaches Yanji 
and tells him that he uh, thinks Sanji isn't on the Sunny, so he should probably just, but because they probably just missed Sanji and his escort. Yonji agrees and decides it's time to go back, saying it was a wasted trip. Chopper calls out to Yonji, um, then Luffy starts breaking out with rashes all over his body, meaning that Luffy is starting to lose his resistance towards the poison. The crew uh, tries to keep up Luffy's spirits to help him stay with them longer, so then Chopper asks Yonji if um, they could spare them some antidotes because the crew doesn't have any more. However, Yonji refuses, saying that he has no interest in saving people. Then Yonji can say that the crew can try to rob um, the German 66 ship like actual pirates would. The crew then say that Yonji is nothing like Sanji because Yonji dislikes helping people unlike Sanji. Pedro tells the others he'll kill Yonji if they give him permission to. Soon after, Reiju comes out on the German ship. Reiju calls out Yonji's name, then kicks him into the water for being stingy. Um, then Reiju flies over to the Sunny, and Carrot asks who she is, getting ready to attack her. Reiju apologizes for suddenly appearing on the ship, as well as her, uh, Yonji's actions. And that's it with the summary of the episode. So some important things to take away from this episode are the Luffy gets poisoned by the fishy catches and is at death's door. The Sun, I mean the Straw Hats encounter a German 66 ship with two of Sanji's siblings on it named Reiju and Yonji. Yonji refuses to help the Straw Hats leave the condition, but Reiju goes to the ship, probably with the intent to help the crew. My review starts now. I love this episode because we got to see some of Sanji's siblings. Personally, I read the manga as well, but it's always nice to see the characters make the transition from the manga to the anime, especially in One Piece because the characters always come out looking amazing. I also can't wait to see how the rest of Whole Cake, how the Whole Cake Island arc uh, plays out in the manga as well as the anime as well. Well, as well in the anime. I don't want to say as well twice. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. Also, for any um, reviews on anime episodes, if I explain that it came from the actual episode itself, that means that once the episode came out, I watched it and started typing up ideas at that point. It was just too late for me to make a review of it based on you know the summary on the week yeah in the future though i may rely on a little bit of both just because the episode may have some like um i guess facial expressions better uh like show, uh, you can show me the setting better and other things that happen while the actual summary on the week yeah can get to the point so i may try to use a mix of both in the future but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you give this video a like if you did. Please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at KJNSCARS00. And also please feel free to comment your thoughts down below. What did you think of this episode? Were you excited to seeing Yonji and Reiju? Do you think Reiju will save Luffy or is she going to kill the crew? Do you think the Straw Hats will save Sanji? I want to hear your thoughts about it. Also, do you think I should make any changes to this video and or any other videos or series I do? Again, please comment because it doesn't help me out. Um, with all that being said, until next time, I'll see y'all later.